Any of you guys have been on Christie near DuPont, there's a place that's closed down but it says homeless on the top. It's actually an art installation that was created um, back in 97 because that was just a space for people to come to that were living on the street. Um, in about 2001, we were actually donated this building by that gentleman over there that you see. And we've been there since then. Um, basically, we have a number of programs. We have, from Monday to Thursday, um, the homeless population come. We have a food access program and a food bank. And we serve, um, we serve people from about 9 to 5. Below us, we have a program called The Loft. L-O-S-T. The Loft is a youth program. It stands for Life, Opportunity, Food, and Technology. And basically what we do, we have a sound studio. We have free access to computers. We help people educational and employment counseling. And um, on, on actually tonight, we're having a jam here, an open mic for artists. So we try and help people in the music and arts community get their feet set, um, learn about ways to make money off their artists. Upstairs, we have a children's program, an after school daycare, a literacy and arts program. It's called The Nook. It's a really cool program. If you have any um, little youngsters of your own, 6 to 12 years old, um, they can join the program. It's free. And finally, we have a men's shelter. Um, and that's located at Lansdowne and DuPont, and that basically um, has a temporary housing and um, food access program. We used to have a women's shelter. If you can imagine, after 5 o'clock, we used to put beds down here. And for four years, we had a women um, staying here overnight, but unfortunately, we ran out of funding for that, so we don't have it anymore. Um, and if you guys have any questions or anything you want to know about us, feel free. We've been working with the storefront for almost a year now, and um, we're United Way Corp funded, City of Toronto supported, um, lots of other small programs give us funding, and um, you mentioned the shelter on uh, Lansdowne? I did mention the shelter on Lansdowne and DuPont. What's the name of the man that uh, donated the property here? Um, I always forget his name, but can we read that? There is Shomo Gold, 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 Gold Haber. Gold Haber. Gold he was really generous gentleman. He basically gave gave it to us. And United Way came on board. Our executive director, her name is Lynn Daly. And Lynn has been fighting really hard for local artists. To be completely blunt with you, Chrissy Osington started with um, a bunch of graffiti artists. There were rival gangs in this area. And the one way to get those rival gangs to cooperate was through graffiti art. So those artists came together, and it was kind of like a truce was formed between those gangs. And since that time, for like, I guess, 12 years, uh, the, the, the Raza boys... The two Latin American boys. Yeah, exactly. The two Latin American boys. We have here. No. So that was like... in one of those gangs? They've heard? <laughs> you graduated one of those gangs. <laughs> 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 <laughs>